Hello everyone, hope you're all well and thanks for all the support. Today I'm down at Dublin Docklands. You can see the capital dock behind me that's owned by Kennedy Wilson, one of Ireland's largest corporate landlords that's based in Beverly Hills. And one bed apartments in there are for well over 3,362 euro per month. Astronomical money. But of course, Kennedy Wilson made huge profits because of political choices in Ireland and because of opening the door to vulture funds and so-called real estate investment trusts to rip off people who are in desperate need of accommodation. And it is very important because today the Residential Tenancies Board, a quango, that came out with a report to state that the amount of landlords in the private rented market has increased in the last year. This is despite the government telling us and many lobby groups telling us that many private landlords are leaving the market. Last year there was a record amount of eviction notices served vast majority for sale of property. Over 20,000 eviction notices were issued in Ireland last year. And we see the absolutely catastrophic homelessness disaster, uh, which has been compounded because of the immigration chaos as well. But this has its genesis in government policies that has gone on for many years, but in particular has been exacerbated with the arrival of these vulture funds, all because of the IMF, the European Central Bank, and the European Union and part of the bailout because of austerity. So the bankers were bailed out and the people were ultimately sold out. And we see the effects of what's happening today with this building right at the end of Dublin Docklands. Uh, and it's very important as well because you went know, to corporates now in Ireland occupy about over 22% of the total amount of properties. So one in five properties are now owned by vulture landlords that have come in. And we've seen a drive towards these vulture landlords to sort of professionalise the industry. And this is what's been pushed by the government parties for many years, the successive governments as well. And it is also notable because many of these, as I said, charge extortionate rents. And as you can flash around the docklands here, you can see many of these high rise, high price apartment blocks going up. Across the road, you see Johnny Ronan's blocks, of course, a famous developer that we all bailed out but of course he came out the other side making loads of money well um, we led to devastating austerity and huge inequalities in our society because of their gains and efforts over the last uh, long number of years as well and it is very important in terms of this policy a policy was brought forward by the Irish government to stop these landlords leaving the market and this RTB report has said that there's an increase of over six and a half percent of landlords in the last year. Now, they brought a policy forward that would give a tax breaks, more tax breaks to landlords. Um, in comparison, a lot of these vulture landlords and real estate investment trusts pay next to no tax in Ireland. Um, a lot of other private landlords pay a different rate, rate of taxation, but there was, uh, private landlords were given another tax breaks because according to the, to the lobby groups, they were leaving the market. And uh, some were leaving the market because of high property prices, but it's increased, as I said, in the last year. And uh, the cost of this tax package is 50 million euro per year. So more public money transferred into private hands to make huge amounts of money for private landlords. And this is how the state operates. And next to it up the road is State Street. And uh, Vanguard is quite close to here as well. So you have one of the most international uh, vulture funds here in Ireland as well that own so many equ equity funds that own so much of many companies all around Ireland as well and all around the world as well. Companies like State Street, BlackRock, Vanguard as well and all part of this development here at the end of edge of the Dublin uh, Docklands. And it is also very important to note that who profits from a multitude of crises and more tax breaks are being given to these landlords. Uh, and this, as I said, this tax break will cost about 50 million euro. Many hospital beds could be provided for that. Yesterday, the stark figures came out that over 5,000 people died in emergency departments over the last five years. Uh, but of course, the necessity is to drive profits and move into the financialization of housing. And they always talk about supply. And it's interesting, many of these corporate landlords keep apartments empty to keep the rents artificially high. And like the same behind, there's a huge amount of vacancy as well within this development uh, because the book value is kept high. And a lot of people who work, live in this area as well are international uh, tech workers and finance workers as well. Um, again, which is, just shows you how the uh, gentrification of the area has taken place and how people in working class communities in this area 
And I can't afford to live in this community as well because you can see across the way, you can see out towards Rings End. And uh, further on is down towards the uh, Lansdowne Road football stadium as well, Grand Canal Docks. And a lot of people that live cross over that direction towards uh, council uh, blocks such as Cannon Mooney and many around Rings End live in substandard housing condition. But of course, there's plenty of money for this, but not enough money to supply basic services for ordinary people and a basic dignified existence in terms of their accommodation. But of course, and then there's plenty of money for the immigration chaos as well. So this has been exacerbated because of the immigration industry as well. And this is how Ireland works. Ireland is a corrupt corporate state that serves the corporations, the globalists, and that bows down the political establishment due to the interests of the European Union all the time. We need to stand up for what's right in Ireland. And uh, I have these Beverly Hills monstrosities behind us that make huge profits, based monstrosities, uh, Beverly Kennedy Wilson, who are based in Beverly Hills. Uh, it's just astronomical. International money can move really around the world to exacerbate and capitalize and make huge profits and extract huge money. And on top of that, they're getting huge tax breaks as well. And they're huge lobbyists as well. They have huge corporate uh, capture and control as well of the Irish political classes and not to mention uh, their media lackeys as well. When they debate this on the media, they don't talk about the real issues. They talk about supply, 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 uh, but they don't talk about speculation. And uh, so many people are making money from keeping, uh, to a massive extent, apartments empty as well. And the landlord class, again, are getting huge tax breaks in terms of what's going on with the, as I said, the 50 million deal in terms of this tax grant that was given last, week, last year on foot of uh, the, the wrong information that was given. Uh, to say that landlords were leaving the market, which wasn't untrue, and a lot of people, I spoke out about that at the time, but of course, uh, my words, like many, would be discounted because they don't want to hear the truth. But of course, this is the agenda, and they also do the same with the housing assistance payments, another transfer of public money, public subsidy, of public wealth towards private landlords and private hands as well. So everything is an avenue to make money and uh, to de-risk everything as much as possible, and to de-risk it, by putting it into property which actually doesn't produce anything uh, because it doesn't offer that in fact to the real economy in terms of jobs or employment it just extracts and works in a very parasitic nature in terms of like what these operators work for and all backed by huge financial institutions behind them so uh, this is how our work we need, need to put Ireland the needs of people here at the heart of any political system uh, and if that's not addressed we're going to face some more of these crises going into the future and more public handouts given to private international vulture funds and a lot of national vulture funds also as well. Many like the Comer Group, Kennedy Wilson have about 3,000 uh, homes. We also have Irish rate well over 4,000 as well and make huge, huge profits and moving towards these big corporate landlords as well. Not to mention the private landlords who are getting the tax breaks also. So uh, this is how Ireland works. It works for the, uh, the rich, it works for the elites, it doesn't work for the interests of ordinary people who are struggling <coughs> to afford to rent, who are forced into homelessness because of erroneous uh, eviction notices claiming sale of property when it's, the property comes back on the market quite soon afterwards. Uh, just shows you how corrupt it works now, Ireland's a corrupt corporate landlord state as well. So thanks for all the support, we need to change it for the better um, and just to make you aware of what's really going on in Ireland. Air Capital Doc. So take care. Salana, talk to you all soon. Bye bye. Thanks for all the support. And please press subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye.